right now, man, we got a pleasure of having a, a legend in the building with us, man, having a legend here in, in Oceanside with us, man. We got Little Rob, cool, man. Cool, it, man. It is an honor, man. And we also got Ryan Anthony, someone who's like, man, put on for the city, put on for the county. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially this this summer, bro. This has been like, mm -hmm. it's been a huge summer for you, man. But it's yeah. just an honor, man. Um, I know you guys just finished working on, on a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. Man, how, how was it being out here in Oceanside, man? And how? Uh, nah, it was cool, man. My, my mom lives over here, man. So, you know, and my, uh, a lot of my upbringing was part of Oceanside, too, man. Because I was telling him we used to go to the record shop right there on uh, <clears throat> on Hill Street. And then right next door to that was the Cotton Patch. Yeah. We used to go get our, like, uh, our Cascade jackets and stuff like that. And, 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 the, and the letters put on them, you know? Um, so, you know, but, it, but it's all to the good, man. Yeah, most definitely. And I heard this guy spit. And uh, and it was all respect from there. I was like, damn, this is fucking dope. You know what I mean? Uh, the Evelyn Champagne King sample. I, I heard that shit. And I was like, that really the sample we really played. The twenty two. And uh, yeah, so I heard that shit. Like, so it's dope. Oh, that was recently. How, so how so, how you how how did his music get to you? I just happened to come across it. I just seen it on on YouTube. Yeah, and then we were, we went to go shoot the uh, video with J Rocks in uh, El Centro, and uh, I was playing it for my boy Rick right here, and uh, and then we just hit him up. You know, we were drinking and shit, hit him up, and went, came, uh, ended up in Oceanside and uh, went to the studio, and I'm with Spad right here. And, yeah, and just, the next week. Just kicked it, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, the next day, the same day, we were just there. The same yeah. day. Yeah, so that was it. Just uh, respect thing. His flows are dope, and um, and what he's doing is dope, so it was a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just you just brought Rob and Ryan Anthony to the city, bro, to film a music video. How are you feeling mm -hmm. right now? I feel sunburn first of all, but besides oh, yeah, that, man, they, I feel I feel I feel grateful that they both pulled up. And uh, for me, um, you know, the first day that he reached out, you know, and was willing to come to Oceanside, you know, um, to my hometown and, and want to link up and get in the studio, that was like that was that was that was dope because he actually pulled through with what he said, you know. So he's he's really about it, man. He's really out here and he has love from Oceanside, so. Um, working with him is, 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 man, it's, it's, it's big. Working with both of these gentlemen is big, you know? They both got their own things going on, and for me to, to be able to connect and even kick in with, with, like, um, young men or even little Rob that are, like, all successfully entertaining, you know, uh, for the masses, it's like, damn, like, I couldn't relate to them and, and ask them questions about, right. like, things that, you know, people such as ourselves have to go through and, and deal with so it's cool man and they're both they both like share you know like their own sides of like their upbringing so there's two different you know individuals that are that are you know accomplishing something that like people would wish they have the opportunity to do um for sure so it's, it feels great man like these are two man two nah, it's huge, man. Sure. i feel like even honor man to be sent next to send with all three of you guys um, just knowing the work ethic um, mm. that all you guys have, have had to put, even not knowing both of you personally, but knowing Desi personally, like there's no way you get to that level without the work ethic. You know what I mean? And so I, I think for me, it's that's, that's like just to be here is inspiring, man. Yeah, oh, man. So, it's a lot of luck too, man, who yeah. you know too sometimes, you know. If you hook up with the right people and they can get you, you know, in the door, and you know what I mean? It has a lot to do with that too sometimes. Because you know, there's a lot of people out there with a gang of talent that are dope as fuck. Mm. They probably will never get hurt, you know what I mean? Mm. But um, but they're dope as fuck, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, but a lot of luck too, and um, you know sometimes you bump into the right people, and and uh, it, and it helps out, you know what I mean? So, but yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the song about? You guys just did a song, the video. Yeah. Right? So yeah. me and Rob, um, the last time he came out here and he uh, stopped, you know, over here at the studio, we uh, we laid some. Of course, we drank first. <laughs> And then we laid a record called I Got Love, and um, we just shot a video to it. Um, my man Ryan pulled up, and um, the song is more so just about g having love from, like, all my people that are, like, you know, in the south, in the town, in the city that are, like, you know, pushing the line and hustling. So I got love for him. Made a record with Little Rob to that. Yeah. And how do you feel about that record? That's dope, man. It's, uh, you know, like... Uh you made me go back to the old drawing board, you know what I'm saying? So I had to go back and like, re, you know, make sure my shit is tight because your shit's tight as fuck, okay? So then, um, so then I go back to the old drawing board and want to record it correctly before I even put it out. So mm -hmm. we still got to finish it in my eyes for for my part real quick. But um, but other than that, man, it's dope as fuck and uh, 
Yeah, some real West Coast stuff, eh? It's dope. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I was excited about that record because Little Rob, man, I feel like it's been like a cool little minute of, of, of you, like, kind of like growing and, and, and not really like touching that whole like dark type of West Coast type of sound. Right. So when you got to do that, like, I was just like, oh, this is going to be horrible. Because nobody's heard that in, in, in so long, you know? Yeah. So, I, I, man, I'm thankful for that record for sure. Yeah, we'll see okay. how people like it, though. Yeah, right. we had a good time, too. But yeah. no, we were here, man, uh, doing all the filming and everything, man. I was really impressed with everything, dude. The hospitality and everything like that, too. Real dope, man. You know, that's all I asked for. You know what I mean? I don't need nothing, uh, you know, nothing more than that. So, uh, but the hospitality, dope, man. The way you guys uh, treated me. The way that people respect you guys out here in Austin side, that's, that's, that's dope as hell, you know. Um, and just, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what you did, man. It's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah, man. I think what's dope right now, even like we got Oceanside, we got the you know Solana Beach, North mm -hmm. North County, but it's like further down uh, south, yeah. and then we got Spring Valley. Like you, you were pretty much in the whole county, you know, as far as all your guys' experiences. I was just telling Ryan before we started filming, it was like, man, I appreciated him at least for from like Oceanside and from my perspective. Like when you came out on D on the on the remix, to Dago, Dago oh. too, man. Hey, I, was, hey, I just told man. him I was like, bro, I was thankful for that. Yeah. Just as a fan, because right. everyone was from San Diego, or I mean from the city, yeah. and then all of a sudden Desi came on it. It was like he reached yeah. out on yeah. that one, like in yeah. terms of like that's far, you know, like that's I think I'm the the only one that's up here, you know, what I'm saying yeah. on the record. So it was like, damn, he came all the way up here yeah. to touch base. You well, know, nah, I was telling I was telling him no because it's always it's always a, a a conversation of like is Oceanside a part of Dago. It, it does Dago claim Oceanside? Does Oceanside claim Dago? And I, I'm, I'm like, yo, if, if y'all get the same radio stations that we get, you know yeah. what I mean? If y'all could put 95.7 on, like, you know what I mean? I feel like it's all San Diego County. So I was like, if I'm going to do a Dago part two and get every section of the city represented, I had to tap in. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had to get, I had to get Oceanside a part of it because in my eyes, it's all Dago. You know what I mean? Seven six zero eight five eight six one nine. It's all Dago. You know what I mean? So I, 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 you know, and that's just my guy for sure. How'd you feel you know being I mean? part of that, man? Man, <clears throat> believe it or not, but but me and Ryan, like, I spent some time with Ryan. You know, in terms of like um, linking up for you know studio sessions and, and and seeing how he works, and he actually produced um, "Be Like That." He, okay. he he had a hand in producing "Be Like That" that record that me and him did together. He made the beat, but I, I spent some time with him in terms of like learning his character and and you know the whole reason why I reached out to him is because I kind of felt like you know I, I loved what he was doing and it kind of like resembled you know the type of work ethic I was trying to you know match. So um, working with him is kind of like damn, like it's like almost like working with like a brother because he's doing the same shit as me and you know he has the same goals I'm pretty sure and yeah. the same intentions as myself. Yeah, I, I think we were just talking too about, um, and I seen it on your IG too, in regards to like we were all six one nine at one point. Oh yeah, yeah. And then can you explain a little bit about that during that era? Because that was in the nineties, right? Everyone was six one nine. Oh yeah, yeah. So that my, my first uh, tape that came out was in ninety two, and it was a cassette tape, a cassette single, over the night in the six one nine, and because um, we were six one nine back then, right. and then all of a sudden it just changed and became eight five eight, and then. Uh, you know, in the 760, you know, I got family out there, so I was North North County, you know what I mean? But um, OG 619er, you know what I mean? Until they changed it, you can't you can't help what they do, you know what I mean? So they changed it on us, and that's just kind of what it was, become an 858, and so then I repped 858. Yeah. But an OG 619er. Yeah, right. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Right. Like, there's no difference. I mean, what the fuck gives a fuck, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was just trying to make it, man. Yeah, man. I, I think that's like, I was just telling Rob, too, man, that, like, Obviously, he's a legend, right? I, I was, I remember seeing him perform here in Carlsbad, like in 2002. He pulled up by himself, like it was at a bar out here um, by the beach. Um, pulled up by himself, and then the very next year, I saw him perform again at the sports arena. But now he was like, he was there with like Ludacris, Little John, Yin Yang Twins, I think mm -hmm. Maya and Baby Bash. Yeah, yeah. And just to see that, like that. Relevation. But I've been hearing his music for at that time. He 2002, you had already been doing music for like 10 years. And so, yeah. like, for him to, like, you know, took 10 years before he hit that stage. But then he took off. 
Mm-hmm. You were gonna be, you weren't gonna see him at that little bar in Carlsbad anymore. You know what I mean? Because after that, I think it was like Neighborhood Music, uh, and then Summer Nights came out, and then I was watching you on MTV. Yeah. And it was just like, damn, I just seen this dude mm-hmm. pull up to a bar by himself to perform, and yeah. now he's like on MTV and he's touring the country. Like, yeah, yeah it was a trip. I wasn't even ready for that, man. I wasn't ready for that either, man. So I was like, uh, I wasn't used to leaving like that and, and uh, doing shows and whatnot. So, um, you know, it was cool, you know. It's something that happened. It was cool. Yeah, I didn't take advantage of it or nothing like that. It, just, it was cool, though. You know, got lucky with uh, the people that I know, man, and, and became really good friends of mine, and and uh, and we made something happen. And, uh, you know, put Chicanos on the map, for sure. And, you're and back San Diego yeah. on the map, for sure, you know. The kid from... Uh, from La Colonia, I put, put uh, you know, San Diego on the map in a big way back then, you know. So, Hell yeah, had the yeah. Charger jersey on and shit. All that stuff, man. Yeah. I represent San Diego yeah, for right. sure, man. Whether yeah. whether it's 619-858-760, this is where we're from, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that, that, and that's what it is to me, so. But then, you know, more rappers come out and then you got more people that hate on you because their homies better than you are and like all that kind of shit, you know. And you just got to watch out for all the hating and shit, so. Yeah. Uh, how have you guys dealt with the success, man? Because both of y'all, like, right now, at least from my like from my perspective, man, like you guys are both like trending up, you know, especially out here. Um, how has that been? Because you dropped like, bro, some bangers this summer, or not even just this summer. Like this twenty twenty one has been like a big yeah. year. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about the the notoriety or. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't play into none of the, none of the hype. I'm not a hype type of guy. You feel me? I'm just like, you know, it is what it is. I still go to the same grocery store, the same corner store, the same, you know what I mean? The same clothes store I've been going to, and then running into the same people I've been running into for, for ever, my whole childhood. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know. Just because I got. A cool song, like I don't know, it don't change, it don't change me at all. You know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still out here. It's just, I don't know, it's just regular for me. But even hearing your music on the radio now, you know what I mean? And like, yeah, I know. Even, the, even the radio though, like I, I feel like more people, other people put more hype on it than I do, because it's like, I, cause I've been doing it for a long time. You know what I mean? Like I've been, I've been putting in work for a long time, so it's like I always knew what I was trying to get to. So it's like to get on the radio, it's like this is what I was working for. So it doesn't feel like it don't really feel like You expect it. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I put in my dues to get that. You feel me? So it, it doesn't feel like um any better than anybody else. I don't feel like I'm above anybody else. It's just it's, it's what I this it's what I was doing. It's what I this was all a part of the plan. That's dope, yeah. man. I've heard you share in a lot of interviews, man, as far as the respect level, too, on, like, you know, a big part of just treating people right. And I think from what I heard a lot of your interviews recently, man, it's like you're, like, at this place of, like, peace, it seems like. like where well, you, like, you don't want that shit coming back on you, man, you know what I mean? So that's why when he said, that, you know, Rob kept his word, that's what it's going to be. If you hear anything other than that, then that's not that's not what it is, you know? So, um, yeah, you just got to keep your word and, you know, don't step on people's toes and... Mind your own fucking business, and you know what I mean. You, you know you might not get killed. You know what I mean. And I'm I'm scared of getting killed. So hey man, I'd be on my best behavior and watch that shit, man. Cause you can't you can't get involved with you know stupid shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so and you you been shot right? You get you get yeah. I got shot in the face when I was 18. So uh, you know I would only had like four songs out if if I would have if I would have passed. But um, but that's it, man. But it was just over uh, some stupid shit, you know. And um, so being now, uh, I'm be 46 in September, man. So being 30 years later in the game, homie, it's like, uh, you know, I went through a lot of stupid, you know, stupid shit that comes along with it, too. So my boy Rick, man, he, he's, he's a dope-ass rapper right here, man. And, uh, you know, my lady might call me Debbie Downer and shit because I always uh, tell people to be careful what they wish for and what exactly are you chasing it for, for the money, for the for the hoes or fucking, or, or what's it for, you know what I mean? But, um you know, because it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous uh, um, thing to be in. You yeah. know, you disrespect the wrong person or, or whatever. Dog. People, a lot of people are hating and shit, and it's it's a it's a dangerous thing to be in, man. You know, and um, the bank account sometimes won't match the uh, the bullshit you go through. You know, so that's real. Yeah, 
For real. Right. How you feel about that, bro? No, it's a pain in the ass, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. like for for the amount that you know you see back in return, the shit you have to go through is like it's like real character building, you know. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, yeah, builds your tolerance in terms of like how thick your skin is, um, and it makes you understand like more about people and their intentions, you know, especially people that are not agreeing with you because of their certain, you know, something that happened with them, you know. But no, I, th I think that, th you know, this is what we got ourselves into and this is the route that we chose, you know, um, being entertainers or whatever, you know. Um, I think that you have to expect this and, and expect people to not agree with you on everything. Um, and, you know, you can't control what people are thinking and how they see you. Yeah. You just keep it real, like my man Lil Rob here. Yeah. But I think even like with the music that, like the songs that you put out this year, the songs that you put out that like Summer Nights, those are all feel good songs. Can you handle the funk? That whole album was a feel good like album. Put it set people in the mood to like, man, let's let's enjoy one another, let's have a good time. This is this is where maybe this is where I'm from. You know, talk, sharing different experiences. But you guys are out here like the music that that you guys are playing. To me, it's like it's timeless because it, it sets that mood you know you can play it at a barbecue it think it puts you in that in that in that mood like man i want to chill with my family i want to chill with friends like I, and, and i think that's love you know what mm -hmm. i mean it's like but at the same time you guys are storytelling about the experiences that you guys have had but it's not disrespectful in any way right yeah and, and i think that's what people uh, appreciate but i think that's also intentional on your guys part you know what i mean i think you guys, oh, yeah yeah oh yeah I'm, I'm not disrespectful in any way man to, to anybody it's almost like you know, treat people the way you want to be treated, and if it was if it was like that, then everything would be okay. You know what I mean? Uh, no matter what I look like, I still, you know, I still, uh, you know, good do do good on the daily. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, and I think that has a lot of. Uh, it comes back to you, man. You know, I didn't expect to be doing you know tours right now. You know, thirty years later. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know? Uh, but still on the road and still selling them out and still packing them and still fucking you know. Showing the people a good time, man. Thirty years later, it's kind of a trip, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, they don't, that, it doesn't last that long for everybody, you know. So I just figure, uh, I think it was just being good people to the to the right people. And, you like, know, back to what he was yeah. saying, like good music and, and 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 like just pure music is so like timeless, you know. Um, like his music, his music, I feel like my music will live forever. You know, it doesn't have a time limit to it, mainly because of like. The intentions are pure. They're not like uh, momentary. You know, they're right. not. They're not something that can be like faded. They're like solid. You know. So I think that man, just <clears throat> the person, the character that you are, the character that you are, character that I am. We create music that's like gonna live forever because yeah. of you know your character speaks. And I think that's why when you set the invite, people are willing to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man, I'll show up because they already know the energy you're gonna bring out. The, like Rob said, man, like you're gonna be hospitable. It's gonna be very professional. I think all three of you guys. I mean, just from seeing like your work ethic and being around you, and obviously from afar, man, just seeing how far you climbed. I was like, that you have to be professional to get to that level. You know what I yeah. mean? And, and I think that's huge. But it's also like you guys are respectful. Um, you know, you want to see other people succeed. Like I, I've heard a lot of interviews where I, I think you said one. I heard this is years ago, bro. And I, but I, I heard you say in an interview, man. Like I hope that. You know, other people from the county, from San Diego County, will be able to follow in my footsteps and, and, oh, go, yeah, and yeah. go further than me. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and I don't have to be the one to help everybody, you know right. what I mean? It's just kind of like, you know, you kind of got to do it on your own, kind of like how I did, you know? Uh, um, and when you're patient and it's your time, then it's your time, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, yeah. you know, I could barely help myself sometimes eh, to, be, to, to take on somebody else and, and have them, you know, have me watching out for their shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so I don't know. That's huge, man. Can I ask you yeah. a question, man? I know that you have a two-year-old, right? Or like a yeah, yeah. What, 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 what has like, what does fatherhood mean to you? Uh, well, actually, man, I think you saved my life, man. Um, I was living in a place where they don't, you know, they're, you know, it's not really safe for me or whatnot. So, you know, I was getting jumped, you know, here, here and there, getting chased here and there, fucking. Bottles broken over my head here and there, fucking, uh, you know, 
getting jumped here and there, whatever you want to call it, man. Mm-hmm. You know, breaking my windows, slashing my tires, fucking it gets fucking old real quick. You know, um, so you know, met my lady and then played bring out the freak in you. I got her pregnant. <laughs> We got the figure and then she got pregnant. And then, uh, and then, yeah, man, but yeah, she saved my life, eh? Yeah, I saved my life, eh? I think, and fucking like, you know, and I did what I had to do to move out to go take care of my son. And, and, uh, and luckily, I think that was the right thing to do because I don't think, yeah. I don't know how much longer I could last yeah. in that environment of fucking just getting lucky that I didn't right. get fucking stabbed tonight, you know? Yeah. Yeah, How's that been though, man? Like that development. Like I think people, unless you have kids, you don't understand why people with kids say, "Oh, my kid is thirteen months, fifteen months," because there's a difference between like a one year old yeah. at twelve months and a one year old at twenty three months. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, how has that been? Just watching, like, you have a boy. Oh yeah, big, watching yeah. like your son like pick up some of your mannerisms. Oh yeah, you know, no, like, it's crazy. Know? Yeah, man. yeah, no, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. What do you enjoy more, most, man? I'm driving in the car, man. He's, he's sitting behind me and shit, and I'm fucking, uh, you know, a little bit of road with my fucking bitch. <laughs> and he might, he might, yeah, he repeats me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, hey, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah don't, don't do that. You got some kids but, too, right? Yeah, I got three of them. Damn. Uh, yeah, wait, speak about three. your newest one, please. I got two. Uh, Cause I didn't know like, until I went out there. Yeah, I know. I be, I be having kids on the under. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't broadcast a lot of my personal, you know, my personal information. So my good guy, like Desi, right here. You know, I had a, I had a a, a little boy like three three weeks ago. Mm, congratulations. Yeah, man. three yeah. weeks ago. But I got a I got a six year old, I got a three year old, and I got a three week old. You know what I mean, but yeah, they, they make you look at they make you look at life. Yeah, completely different though. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause before but before it was it was straight turned up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's it's turned up. You ain't worried about nothing. You, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was, I was, uh, I don't know. I was just real, I was real wild. <laughs> yeah, I was real wild, especially with the, you know what I'm saying, with the people I was with. You got something you know to mean? lose now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I got, I got something to lose now. And it was like, I can't, I can't be out on the same type of, you know what I mean? The same type of energy I was on. I gotta relax a little bit. No know. more champagne on the weekend. Yeah, I, mean, mm-hmm. I mean, we still want that, man. Pass it. Pass it. We don't keep me to open it up. Yeah, come on, pass that. Nah, yeah, but yeah, it, it definitely make you look at, at life a, a lot differently, too. And I, I feel like I, I was blessed, too, because I had my first, my first son. I was 24 years old. And I feel like if I didn't have him at that time, I, I'd be fucked up for sure. Cause I was, I was, I was turned up like, mm-hmm. on some wild. Were shit. you doing music then? Yeah, I was doing, I was doing music then. Cause I, I, I'm, I had moved to LA. I, I moved out, I moved out when I was 21 years old, and I had moved to LA, and I just kind of got like, 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 just taken over by like the Hollywood. The Hollywood shit, you know what I mean? Like, and, and that's a whole different lifestyle. And like, people are doing all type of like wild shit, all type of drugs you ain't never seen before, all type of parties you ain't never like like hold up. You were doing music out there? Yeah, I mean, I was just chasing dreams though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, chasing dreams, trying to get to whatever a twenty one year old is trying to get to, trying to get all type of money that a twenty one year old right. is trying to get to. And it's like, you don't even really know, like, you don't even really know what you want. But you're like, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get that. But you don't even really know what that is. And there's a whole lot that come with getting to that point. There's a whole lot of paths you got to go through to get there. And it's a, it's all type of learning experiences, you know. So it's like having my son at 24, I was about to turn 25. I went through a lot between 21 and 25 was it was because i was just straight grinding in la trying to figure it out and then falling into all these different types of situations so i feel like if i didn't have him right then 
I'd have been, I'd have been fucked off somewhere for sure. Yeah, I'd have been. Yeah, I'd have lost myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, man. For sure. Yeah, I, I get it. I get I, it. Yeah, I would have lost myself for sure. But uh, but yeah, since having having my son for real, it, it really put me on on the path of all right, what really like concretely what can what can you obtain what what are your goals what really like reality because you know what i mean there's no reality really when you're young like you're just like imagining shit and you don't really know like i don't know it's just different right but when you have a kid you just like okay okay reality like for real for real like what can you get what can you grasp that's not gonna sacrifice your family you know what i mean because then that's that's all that mattered to me at that point was yeah don't sacrifice your family don't sacrifice your kids your kids mom don't sacrifice none of that you know so it's like how to obtain the most without losing everything that's important when you he said something that he said you're, you're chasing something but you don't even know what that is oh that's what i was saying right there man. yeah what, what is it what, what's what's that you're chasing what do you want from it yeah same shit, man and then you mm-hmm. get there and that's not everything you thought it was going to be and it's you know the 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 um the flip side of it is it's kind of bad sometimes you're like fuck you know what i mean so i get what mm-hmm. you're saying what is that what the hell you, what do you want it for yeah. You know what I mean? So that's when I become Debbie Downer and I fucking talk yeah. like that. But yeah, I don't mean to be that way, but that's just kind of yeah. like what I'm. That's reality. What though. I say. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Summer Nights or even Neighborhood Music dropped in like 2004. So it's like. My first tape in 1992. Right. And so then Summer Nights <laughs> drops, what, in 2005. 2005. So 13 years mm-hmm. you were chasing. And then you, you top at the Billboard. But not really chasing it, man. Mm-hmm. It just kind of fucking happened in some, yeah. some way, somehow. I don't fucking know. I don't even know how it happened, man. Tell you the truth, then um, just got kind of lucky, I guess. Like I said, it's luck, you know. Signed with my boy, and they took me to a whole other level. Um, you know, so a lot of luck, man, and being good people throughout all the bullshit that's you know thrown your way. Anyway. I think the dope thing is too, man, that like you having a son now, he's gonna be able to experience this version of Little Rob with so much wisdom. Oh and, yeah, and, yeah. Like, experience. Yeah, yeah, I hope so, man. Yeah, you know how to treat people, man, and be good, be good to people, man, all the time. That's huge, man. For sure. And I, does you? I know you. That's bro. Like just being around you, like I always, I was telling Ryan earlier. Like sometimes my students will come and hit me up, and they'll be like, "Man, I just ran. I saw Desi. You know what I mean? I ran into him. He said, "What's up?" And I think that how how approachable you are too. You know what I mean? Like you always show love. Um, yeah, I think I think um, like that thing that we're chasing. Um, you know, when we get there, like he was saying, I kind of feel like. Even if we don't reach that point, I think the thing that carries us is the inspiration that we give to other people. Um, and I, and I, I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys can feel it when people hit you up and they tell you, man, he doing so good. And for you, oh, yeah. it's kind of like, damn, I'm just trying my hardest, you know, like I I haven't been paying attention to how good I'm doing, you right. know? Right. And when people tell you how good you're doing, it's kind of like, damn, like, I guess I am doing pretty good. but. Men like us, you know, of course, we want to keep working and never satisfied. But, man, I think that carries us, though, for sure. Like, hearing, you know, people and, and you know, they a lot of people just get to see what we display, you know, what we choose to display, you know. Like, I know for a fact Ryan and Rob and, and myself, we're very private people, you know. We, we get to control what we want to show, the like, people, you know, the public. And I think I think we all do it well, you know. We're we're all you know semi private people, but I think the inspiration we give to others is like unmatchable, bro. Yeah. I think that that for for the most part that's what carries me is like you know when people you know tell me you know how inspired they are because it's like yeah. you know what else is carrying you you know like what yeah. And I think also like because so many people know who you guys are, but I think the people closest to you, you guys. Um, I mean, talking to you off camera and even a little bit, but knowing you, it's like you guys value the people closest to you. You know what I mean? And, yeah, and I, I heard today, yeah. like, man, real success um, is having the people closest to you love you. You know what I mean? And you being lovable to them, meaning that they're not like, man, I can't stand him. But, like, mm-hmm. that's real success at the end of the day. Like, when you say what you're chasing, like, being a father is your most important job. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
being a son, being, you know, close to your brothers, like, at the end of the day, like, what are we chasing? But it's like having the people, you know, loving on the people that are closest to us and loving them right. Yeah. You know, because at, at the end of the day, like, it all comes and goes. Like, I've heard you say, man, you can't take it with you. Oh, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and I think that's, that's that's huge, man. Real quick, man, like, how, how was it when he hit you up? I didn't, I didn't even ask you that. Like, when he hit you up and he said, man, I, like, uh, man, like how, how'd you feel? It was it was pretty crazy. Um, I think I had released a um, Bone Do, um, a song that I had with some of my homegirls. We shot it where <laughs> my homegirls rapping my lyrics and shit. Right, she dog. got down, dog. But, um, yeah, I released that record, and, and he hit me up, and he had told me he heard, you know, some of my previous songs, and um, he wanted to pull up. And I think I told my people, you know, he wants to pull up to the studio, and they're like, oh, no way, you know. Like, I, I to me, I'll be straight up. I didn't think he was going to pull up. You know, I went to the studio, and I was just like, oh, we'll clean it and shit, but right. he, he's probably not going to pull up, you know. So he ended up pulling up, you know, and it was it was like fuck, like it was, it was dope, man. It was dope. It was dope because like he told me he was gonna pull up, and then he pulled up, you know, <laughs> real solid, man, real yeah, solid for yeah. sure. But yeah. you know, we have no connection at all. You know, I never met him before, nothing. You know, I don't know anybody that he knows, yeah. and you know, we just connected out of you know, um, keeping the options open and and working hard, just as my my homie right here does, you know. My man right here, he works hard, you know, and that's, I reached out to him for a record that we did together. I think it was Allegations. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I reached out to him on that one, you know, and, and he, you know, he, he was like, yeah, let's do it. And um, I, I had a lot of interest in Ryan, man, because he, he was he was getting it done and doing something similar to what I was doing. So, yeah, to, to have these two here is like, man, like, we have no connection at all, you know? So for us to link up, it's kind of like, it means something. Right. Yeah, but I think it's that mutual sure. respect to work ethic. For sure. Yeah. You know? yeah. Have you had anyone hit you up, bro, that you've been like, damn, I can't believe this dude hit me up or he's feeling my music? Or yeah. she? Because you've had some big records this year, bro. Yeah. I mean, I, I, got, I guess the biggest one would be Andrew Day. Yeah. I mean, who, who I got the, the my latest record with, with uh, Southeast Summers, with, with Mitchie Slick and Andrew Day. But she hit me up, it was like 2000, like, probably like 2015, 2015 or 2016, because I, I put out a, a song, Barely See the Beach, which became my brand, because the song just, it, it, it just caught, caught wind through the city, and everybody was rocking with the song, and then it, it just became like a movement low-key. But yeah, but she, she reached out to me back when I first put the song out and she was like, man, I, w I would love to work with you. I would love to, you know, put something together with you. And I was like, yo, for sure. I, I didn't have, I, I kind of work slow. I mean, I kind of work slow. I don't rush nothing. I, I, I don't feel like I'm pressed for time. I feel like everything happens in, in when it's supposed to. So I was like, yeah, I would for sure love to work with you. I don't got nothing right now, but you know what I mean? Like we can for sure put something together for sure. And then I, I, I started, because I, I produce all of my music as well. So I made I made the Southeast Summers beat. And then when I, when I made that beat, I was like, that's that's her. You know what I mean? I was like, that's her for sure. So then I, I reached out to her after I put the hook on it. I was like, I got this song. I would love for you to to be on this one. You know, if, if you would rock with it, I would love for you to be a part of this one. And uh, I sent it to her. She was like, yeah. You know? It's like, yeah, for sure. I'm with, I'm with it for sure. Me. I rock with that one. Yeah, so so she did it. It, it, took a, it took a while to put together. It took a while to put together. Because I, I, I made the beat and the chorus probably like 2000, like probably 18. And we just put the song out this year, 2021. You know what I mean? But I wasn't, I wasn't pressed for time, no, at all. Because I was like, whenever this comes out, I know it's going to... It's gonna touch who it's supposed to touch, and I know it's gonna be an anthem for my section. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that was that was for sure the yeah the biggest one that came to fruition. That's that's dope, man. Yeah. What is that like, man? I can't even imagine just when you're driving down and you hear your, someone's playing your song, as like, or you hear your song and you're not even like looking for it, but then it's playing. Like I know you felt that a lot. You've had to feel that a lot. I felt that one time on um, well. 
the first time was on Highland Avenue, and I was like 16 when my first tape came on. We were a Mexican gangster on Highland Avenue. We were all oh, down Highland there. Highland National shit. City? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go down there all the time, man. You know? And um, yeah, someone was playing my, my tape already. Yeah. So that was pretty cool, you know? But it, then, yeah. It's like, I got to keep going, right? Because you're doing something, right? If people are out there like... Yeah, I mean, you know, I just like enjoyed doing music, man. That's pretty much what it was, so... I don't know. It wasn't about making a hit or nothing like that. It just kind of happened. Yeah. I feel so. like today was huge, bro. Like, I was just watching the stories. I'm like, man, he's got... I, I told him, like, a couple times, bro, you got Lil Rob coming to Oceanside, like, to do a music video. That's crazy. And then today, I was like, man, they got Ryan Anthony out there in the video, too. I was like, bro, that's like... As a fan, I'm just like, yeah. bro, that's going to be one of the things for us out yeah, here in the city yeah, that man. we're going to remember. Yeah. You know, yeah. especially because, like... Who knows where you're gonna be five years from now as far as like where yeah. your career is gonna be you know what i mean so we'll be able to look back at this and be like man rob was here ryan anthony was here and like you know desi brought him to i was the here city. man i got it now i got a fucking uh bandana tan line right here <laughs> <laughs> i had to cover with the hat yeah, fuck, it's fucked up dude i feel super it's fucked super up man i'm so tired yeah. too man yeah. where's the next show because i know you're on uh, tour salt lake city next uh weekend july 31st and then you're coming back to San Diego on September 11th? September 11th, I believe, yeah. Do you know where that show, that venue, the, what venue? Uh, not offhand, no. But you'll be back. I'll have to look at my phone but right now. But September 11th, Lil Rob will be back in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He'll That's be good. back to bring out the freak in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another baby. Yeah. Another baby. <laughs> Another baby. <laughs> Another baby. Yeah, <laughs> man. yeah, man, but yeah, yeah. that's it, man. Well, man, we, we appreciate you, man. Ryan, we appreciate you, man. Yeah. Desi, bro. I appreciate y'all. You're, you're a legend for this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, man. man. I'm just bringing right good people here. together, yeah. man. I, for the most part, I just... Uh, I'll do the outro. All right, y'all ready? Um, man, I just... Um, I'm just uh, appreciative that they were down to do the... Uh, you know, have a conversation and, and sit down with me and, and, and Rob to come up. And more, more so Ryan, man, because... I invited him, you know, pretty last minute, and um, I think that uh, I think that this conversation is gonna go further than than just today, for sure, you know. And I was outside trying to get out of it. And shit too. Yeah. <laughs> no, Rob, you know what? You know what, Rob? Like, <laughs> it was, it was like, you just oh, need a little bit of that that, that extra push, you know what I'm saying? He <laughs> that little umph, you know, but. <laughs> good people, man. I'm glad that he came out. You know, yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah, it's all but good. if anything, man, like from Oceanside, bro, just give you your roses, bro. You're a legend, man. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. You're, you're a ro- yeah, you're a sure. legend, bro. And, and, it's also good, man. Yeah, man, for sure. For sure. Yeah, 100%. It's my guy right here, though. Jack in the box, though. Jack in the box. Tacos, man. Yeah. Hey, There's a Jack in the box right around the corner. Yeah. yeah. You want the heavy shit? Yeah. Oh, well, man, thank y'all, man. All right, man. So good. So good. Yeah, fuck yeah. Cool. Cool.